Hi Capricorn, Narai here, gonna do a reading for you. I will say, if you have Scorpio in your chart and you are dealing with somebody that you think is evil, um, watch the Scorpio video from today. And the reason I say that is because I was supposed to be doing your video first and I was gathering my things because I had stuff in my room for a moon spell and I fell asleep last night without doing it so I have to do it today but I had Palo Santo and I had my little my salt um, I use salt for spells in this and um, all of a sudden when I started doing the reading for Scorpio um, or right before I felt like I needed to light the Palo Santo because I didn't even know why I grabbed these things because I don't normally grab them and bring them into my tarot table and um, when I was doing the reading, it was like, oh God, this does not feel good to me in my mind. Um, but it was almost like Scorpios, some Scorpios are dealing with somebody that is a very evil, just not good person or <clears throat> entity. I don't know. It just made me feel some kind of way. And I had to use Palo Santo and salt. So we're going to start your reading. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. If you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Narai and I go by Nay. And we are going to go ahead and get started. And hopefully this is a better energy reading than the Scorpio reading because that one, mm, that was something else. So... Spirit, what messages and guidance do we have for my beautiful Capricorn family, my brothers and sisters of the Capricorn? I am a Capricorn myself. And you will know that because I am straightforward and I don't sugarcoat. I am not here to please anybody. I'm here to tell the truth. And sometimes the truth that I tell is not your truth. So if it's not... That's okay. The reading is not a personal reading. And if what I say doesn't fit, I don't need to know. I really, I don't care to know, to be honest with you. People tell me, oh, this isn't my reading. It's not your reading. It's not personal. <laughs> so, I have dry humor. Sometimes I'm crasp. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Mm. Page of Pentacles. I feel like you might get a message from somebody. And when I say that, when I see this, because the Page of Pentacles is standing on one foot, it just makes me think that <laughs> this is somebody that doesn't have a, 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 a foot to stand on. They have no, they're not grounded. Pentacles, that's earth energy. It's supposed to be grounded. But for this particular one, it's just like you might get a message from somebody that's just like really imbalanced. Maybe you were dealing with somebody really imbalanced that was younger. I have the star card. With the star card, this is somebody continuing their healing. This is possibly somebody that's in the spotlight in the public eye. But this is... Trusting in the universe. This is still believing dreams can come true. This is trusting a higher power. This is knowing things happen in divine timing. I'm just thinking wishing on a star. This is still believing. This is being hopeful and positive and optimistic. I have the Justice card. I feel like somebody's waiting on some sort of uh, justice to happen. What I'm going to say is don't focus on the justice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't wish bad for somebody. Um, like, think of... <laughs> Think about the, think about, okay, I'm going to say this. 
don't be that person where if somebody's not with you, you're kind of hoping it never works out with anybody else. Why would you do that? You would not want somebody doing that to you. And that's kind of what I'm seeing with this card. Like somebody wishing that putting that bad energy out there saying, and I really feel like this happened to me with somebody that's in my life now. And I want to ask him because I feel like he's, I, I feel like this person may have, and you may have somebody in your life like this, like they've watched you, um, stuff didn't work out with them because they were not ready. They were not what you wanted at the time or they did stupid crap and you moved away from them. And then that person came back into your, that person like remained in your life or came back into your life and you guys are friends um, and you talk often. You don't think of this person romantically, but this person is kind of staying in your life, uh, kind of trying to stay in your energy because they're hoping that nothing ever works out for you with somebody else so that you can come back crying to them. Don't go back crying. If stuff don't work out, do not, do not go back crying. And some of you may feel like asking this person, have you ever hoped that stuff didn't work out with me and somebody else? And I feel, I feel, I feel like for some of you, somebody's going to be honest and say yes. And then you're going to be sure to never, ever, ever, ever give that person a chance. But that will be justice. But for, for others of you, um, justice is coming, but just don't wish bad on somebody that things don't work out between them and somebody else, because if they're not going to work out, they're not going to work out. It has nothing to do with because of your bad wishing, but don't put that energy out there. Things are going to work out the way they're supposed to work out, but just don't be the negative energy in somebody's life. But I feel like somebody's waiting on some sort of answer in regards to something legal um and for some of you there's nothing to worry about oh god i've only pulled three cards what the hell i'm at seven minutes and 31 seconds the next card is judgment um yeah i feel like court's gonna be okay with the judgment, but some of you are going through an awakening. Some of you are going through an awakening. Don't be scared of it. Oh shit, excuse me. Oh crap. Yas. So I have the seven of wands. This is about you protecting your energy standing your ground, um, having boundaries with people. And then I have the Ace of Wands. This is a brand new passionate beginning. Um, for some people, this could be the start of a business. This could be you taking action to make something new happen. For some of you, this could even be trying to start a relationship or somebody trying to start a relationship with you. You may not see this coming. Ooh, did I say relationship? The lovers, the yin to your yang. God damn it. Why did this turn into a love reading? It doesn't have to be the lovers though. I mean, it doesn't have to be a love reading because this could be about making a very important decision in your life. The lovers is also a choice. But I feel... <clears throat> That everything that I just said really now is important, especially about wishing bad on somebody else. Um, because you don't know what type of protection somebody may put on themselves. Like there are people that put protection on themselves where it's kind of like, if anybody puts bad on me and they do spells to send that energy back to sender a lot worse or to send it back to somebody close to you a lot worse. So don't wish bad on people, it's just pointless and it's not pretty. 
and it doesn't it's good I don't feel like good people do that um, or excuse me I don't feel like kind people do that and I don't feel like good people should do that so do not do that but I am seeing the possibility of a romantic relationship um, this could be somebody that you really feel a connection with. Um, I I just I heard comfort. Somebody that you feel comfortable with. Fast. It's like it's not forced. It feels really natural. And I feel like you and this person may be on the same path. You may discover when you communicate that you are on the same path, the same type of journey. And I feel that there may be some sort of energetic pull towards this person. Let me pull two more cards and close this reading out. Spirit, two more cards for Capricorn, please. Or just make me lose a handful of cards to... Okay. Okay, I have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like um, what you need to be aware of is when you meet this person. Um, and this is the Four of Pentacles. This is in regards to being frugal. I feel like it's not just frugal with money, it's frugal with your energy. Be sure when you meet this person or when you are involved with your next relationship or poten potential partner that you're not holding back so much that somebody feels left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. And be sure, um, be sure that you're not feeling this way. This is a key to the success of a relationship. Knowing that once you feel left out in the cold, it's not the way that it's supposed to be. Nobody should feel left out in the cold in a relationship. And a lot of you Capricorns have experience, and myself included, been in a relationship with somebody you really, really love and feeling so left out in the cold and abandoned, but still in the relationship and feeling lonely as hell. I felt more lonely in the relationship that I was in last. Uh, not, well, that was involvement, yeah more alone in my last relationship than I did once I broke up with that person. I felt more alone in that relationship. And so this is key to the success of you having a relationship is noticing when you feel alone and left out in the cold. If you're feeling left out in the cold, you need to get on the same page as this person. And if that feeling continues, and that's not the person for you and you need to learn when to walk away when to walk away so i'm gonna leave you with that capricorn i love you guys um also notice when you're doing a lot of worrying and be mindful of not making someone else feel left out in the cold by holding back your energy because you're holding on to the past and all the things that you've been through let the past be the past be positive wish the person the best that hurt you and the reason i say that is because if a person is a crappy person and they get with somebody good they're probably going to mess it up anyway they don't need your help they are good at doing this there are people good at going into people's lives and making them so sick of them that they leave so don't wish bad hope the best for everyone because that energy comes back to you so, and until next time, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I love you guys. Bye.